Oh yeah, that's gonna look beautiful. Love, 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 love. Those colors. Muted violet, bronze, and a little bit of Titan buff. Welcome to the studio, it's Froil here. I'm so glad you've joined me. Today we're going to be jelly printing with textured papers. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. It could get a little messy, but stick around and let's see what we can create. So this week I got these absolutely fabulous, oh my gosh, beautiful papers from Kozo Studio. Look at the textures, they're just amazing. I can't believe the incredible intricacy of the patterns. Look at that, that's beautiful. So I'm thinking, what are we going to do? Of course we can make collage, that's easy peasy and we will probably do that but you know what I want to do? I want to pull out the jelly plate and create some prints with these fabulous textures. They look absolutely amazing and I reckon that they would jelly print up really well. What do you think? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, they're just so beautiful, I could wrap myself in them. <laughs> So let's pull out the jelly plate, grab some paints and see what we can create. Right, so I have my brand new <laughs> 9 by 12 jelly plate. I know, it's a little exciting because it's so clean. <laughs> so I'm figuring that these would be just like using a stencil, I'm thinking. Because look at the incredible textures. These papers are from the Threads series and they've been created by putting cotton threads into the paper pulp. I know, it's amazing. One day I'm gonna go and have a look at how they make this in Thailand because I'm just so fascinated by the process and I just love these papers. So we're gonna take a print with this because I'm figuring, man, seriously, it looks just like a stencil. And today we're you starting with Muted Violet. Am I feeling muted today? Maybe I am. <laughs> it's not a very great day in beautiful New Zealand. It's pretty overcast actually. But look at that colour. Doesn't that just make you feel happy? Yes. The Muted series from Liquitex is a beautiful range of colours. Look at my fabulous new plate. Oh man, I know, doesn't take much to make me happy. There we go, beautiful. Let's put that down. Let's go with the threads side down. <sighs> it feels amazing. <laughs> I'm not sure really how much of a print this will take. But you don't know until you start playing with things how it's going to work. I probably should have used a paper to push it down. <laughs> I'm already covered in paint. You know today's going to get very messy. Just so you know, right? Because I'm too excited. I've got a new plate. I've got fabulous new paper. And it's all very exciting. Righto, so I think I better use a piece of tissue to push it down. That'll be better. Yes. Now we can give it some really good pressure. Perhaps a bit of a roll with a brayer. That could help create some good contact with the plate because that's all we need is a little contact with the plate to get those textures to transfer. And let's see what we've got. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh man, that's fabulous. I think we're going to wait for that to dry because that's not going to take very long. I might just give my hands a little wash and look at the paper. We could be building up beautiful colours on this paper. Oh, and then it will become the most magnificent collage paper. That's what we're going to do. Just let that dry. It only needs a couple of minutes because it's a very thin coat. Such a great texture. See how well the threads and the lines print? I really like that. I think we should add another layer before we actually pull it. That's what I think. So let's do that. Ooh, we were there some bronze, baby. <sighs> yes, it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to make beautiful things, lots of bronze, lots of purple, because it's just one of those days. That's fabulous. Loving that beautiful bronze on there. And let's push on 
the other direction and get the lines going the other way. Yes, I'll put my tissue on this time and stop making such a mess. <laughs> Not that I really care. But let's give it a bit of a push. Let's roll over it with a bit of a brayer. Let's get some good contact on the plate. Then I'm going to just move it down a bit because the bottom section didn't get done. Oh man. But I wanted to go across the other way. I basically just want to make more texture. Just more. More is always more. Right, so that is a whole lot of fun and so easy. And my paper's looking beautiful. See, look at that now. It's got the cross section of the lines. That's beautiful, you gotta admit it. Totally is. Right, so that's gonna dry and then, hmm, I think we'll use perhaps a little Titan buff and pull that up with some wet strength tissue. I reckon that's gonna look pretty good. Righto then, let's go with the Titan buff, pull it up on some wet strength tissue. It's going to look amazing. Oops, maybe if I had got it on straight, it would have been better. <laughs> it's easy. But, you know, as long as we get the crinkles out, we'll be okay. Okay, shall we see what we've got? My beautiful wet strength tissue, baby. That should pull it up. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna look beautiful. Love, 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 love. Those colors. Muted violet, bronze, and a little bit of Titan buff. Look how fabulous the pattern is. You can see the glorious shine of the bronze. Gotta love me some bling. What a fabulous way to create jelly prints just with some textured paper. Let's try this one. It's got bigger holes in it. That could be fun. What have we got? Little bit of muted pink this time. I know, just feeling muted today. Pulled them out of my drawer. They need to be used up. You know your paints don't last forever. You may as well use them. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Pulled it out. Oh, look at the color. Yes, that's nice. Just feeling it today. You know, you just feel different colors on different days, especially if it's overcast. It's pretty lousy here in beautiful New Zealand today. So these colors are really making me feel good. I'm loving it. That is a really nice color. Thin coat on the plate, looking good. Let's put this one on it with those bigger holes in it. That will make a different pattern. It's kind of checkerboard like, really. Push some of this paper on it. This is the Japanese rice paper. We might get some of that paint up off the plate. Maybe, baby, and if that doesn't work, then we always resort back to my wet strength issue. <laughs> Cause that never leaves me or forsakes me. <laughs> that always works. <laughs> Now remember, if you want to have a look at the beautiful Kozo papers, the links will be in the description under the video. Also, there's a discount code, so don't forget to use that. Oh yes, look at that. We got a lot of that paint off. The holes are all clear. Oh, you know what we could do? Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of the iridescent bronze fine, put it on the side here, get a little brush, and fill in some of these squares because we just took the color out with the paper. And I'm thinking, let's put some bronze in the squares. That'd be really cool. That'd go nice with our muted pink color. The bronze is beating up on my plate because the plate is brand new and it just does that for a while when it's brand new. Don't let that stress you if that's happening to you. It'll come right. Just <laughs> Just talk nicely to it, treat it well, and it'll come right. You know, like all of us. 
So I'm just going to put a little bit of bronze on there and then we'll let that dry and we'll pull that print. Man, that's so fun. It is got to try some different ideas. Have a go. It can only not work. If it doesn't work, what's the matter? It's becoming collage paper anyway. So I'm just going to fill the squares in with the beautiful bronze and then hmm, I think I might pull it with the Titan Buff because that worked really well on our last print. I like those colours. Look how cool this looks with the pattern from the paper. Probably left it on too long but that's the whole part of experimenting. You really just have to try things. Different ideas. Have a go. Might work. Might not work. What does it matter? <laughs> so the paint more absorbed this time into the paper. See there? You can't see it because it's black. But it absorbed more in the paper because I left it on a lot longer because I was playing with the squares and trying to get the bronze to actually stick to the plate. But that's going to be pretty nice. I'm going to let that dry and pull that print. And then we'll just come up with the next brilliant idea. There's not a whole lot of the muted pink on there in the square shapes, but there's enough for it to look like a pretty cool pattern. I think it's mostly dry. There might be still a few blobby bits of the bronze in my squares, but meh, it'll be fine. Should we pull it on the wet strength tissue or should we use the Japanese rice paper? Hmm. Such decisions. <laughs> I think we should use the Japanese rice paper. Let's have a go. It might be a little blobby, but it'll be all right. Oh, and it just fits my plate. I love that. Color all the way to the edge. Righto, let's see what we got. <laughs> it's always the best part about jelly printing is the surprise of pulling it up. Well, sometimes it can be disappointing when it doesn't go the way we want, but mostly it's the excitement of the surprise. Surprise, surprise. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. I think it printed more of the muted pink than I thought it was going to. That's pretty fun. That's not a bad print. I don't know what you were worried about. <laughs> I think it looks all right. Look at that. Righto, what about if we start by putting some shapes on the plate first, then put the textured paper? Okay, if you insist, let's give that a go. That color's pretty nice too. I'm liking that. That's working. Now I've got this stencil from hmm, Joggles, Elizabeth St. Hilaire stencil. Yes, I love her stencils. They're fabulous. And I'm going to put these triangle looking shapes on first with, hmm, let's go with some copper. Yes. So we'll put the copper on first and let the triangle shapes dry. And then we'll decide what color we're going to put on after that. And I think we could use this piece of paper again because that left a really good mark. I like that mark. So let's do that. Triangles on first. Now somebody asked me this week about when to use what stencils in the layering process on the plate. You pretty much want to put your small ones on first because that's what you're going to see when you flip the print over. They'll be on the top. So let's put the triangles on first and then we'll put the textured paper print on top of that. And then when we pull it, the triangles will be up on the top. If it works out. <laughs> Nothing's ever a guarantee. Well, we could pull out some masks and put an extra layer on with that as well. Yeah, maybe, baby. We might do that. Righto. So triangles are on first. And then, of course, you've got to let it dry. But look how cool that looks. Love that stencil. That's looking fabulous. We'll let that dry and we'll put another layer on with our fabulous textured paper. Okay, well, it might not be mm, entirely dry, but <laughs> it's overcast here today and it's really messing with my drying time. <laughs> what about some quinacridone violet? Yes. I'm going to put that on and then we're going to put 
the layer of our fabulous paper texture on. Everything's a little sticky still. Oh man, so annoying. Oh, and my plate's still doing weird things. But that, that's kind of fun. Because that just creates a different texture on its own. Actually, I think the full body paint was going to be better option. Oh man, too late. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> right, where's my other piece of paper? This is the one I'm using to create all the little marks. Hey, I put that stencil on a piece of wet strength tissue that I was using to push the papers down with. It's looking really cool. How the stencil had all that paint left on it. Oh man, I'll show you, it looks really cool. So I'm gathering all of these prints together and then I think we should put a little collage, just a little one, cause that'd be really fun. Oops, I was moving it on the plate. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, it could be a little smudgy, but the plate's doing weird stuff and beading up anyway, so we're not going to get perfect prints today. Don't be expecting perfect prints. Oh, but I do like the texture it's created. It's amazing what you can do with just a piece of paper. I know, it's beautiful textured, handmade paper from Thailand, but... But it's still just a piece of paper. <laughs> now if you're worried about how your layers are going in your jelly print, you can always have a little sneaky peek. Because <laughs> my gel plate's so new and beautiful. Look, you can turn it up like that and you can see that, yes, I didn't wait long enough for those triangles to dry. They're a little patchy, but the colour's looking beautiful. Pretty happy with that. I'm thinking we need another layer before we pull this print. Loving the texture of it, it's working really well. Considering it's all very experimental. So what about we put some circle masks on? Yes, I know, they're my favorite. <laughs> what can I say? I cut these ones out of some plastic. They're not overly perfect, but you know, meh, it's art. Why would it have to be perfect? So I'm hoping it's dry enough stinking weather and I'm going to put some masks on there run over it with another color haven't decided which one do I want two or three? Oh man I, okay I think I'm going to go with three just as well I cut three let's do it like that and put that one off the edge yeah I'm liking this plan Let's do that, right? So that'll mask out and keep all that beautiful color underneath. And then I've got these ones from PM Artist Studio because of course their circles are like totally perfect, which is awesome. Let's put those ones there. Right, so what are we going to run over it with? Hmm. Well, there's a fair amount of space still and they're really beautiful colors. So I don't want to wreck it too badly. I'm going with the bronze. You just knew I would, didn't you? You just did. No. <laughs> Surely you knew that was a pretty obvious choice. Let's just go with some bronze. I was going to go with some Van Dyke brown, but I don't know, man. I don't want to wreck all my glorious other colors. So let's just add this onto the plate. Just feeling a bit like creating the layers today. Just loving a little bit of texture. Building up the print. It really is a bit of fun. And you've just got to try your ideas. I love using these masks because it just makes an additional shape, another layer. And da -da -da -da, that's going to be fabulous. We'll pull those off my wonky circles, but they're okay. And then we'll let the bronze dry and we'll pull the print. See, it's cool, right? It's pretty nice, I'm thinking so. 
think we'll go with the Titan buff because that's going to go with all of these lovely colors. And let's see how that looks. I have no idea how it's going to turn out actually. But the colors are good, the shapes are fun, and I think it'll be interesting if nothing else. <laughs> right, let that dry. And I think we'll pull it with the Titan buff. What do you think? Is it dry enough? <laughs> did I wait? Well, I did have a cup of tea, so you know, it should be pretty dry. Right now, we're doing it. Titan buff, baby. Let's see how we go. Let's put it on the Japanese rice paper because that could be a really nice print. Oopsies, too much paint. We'll just roll off some of that paint because yes, I did put on too much. I got a little excited. That's looking a bit better. You need to be able to see your print through the paint. Oops, the paper's crooked. I'm so bad at putting paper on straight. <laughs> Seriously. Oh man. I might leave it a couple of minutes to dry, perhaps, onto the paper. <laughs> oh, and while it's drying, I'm going to tell you about my massive art sale. <laughs> it starts this week. Big art sale, I'm calling it, because it is a big art sale. It only happens once a year in November. Everything's on sale, absolutely fabulous. You've got to check out the new scrap bags. I've become a little overwhelmed with all the papers in my studio, especially the little small scrap bags. I love my scrap bags. They're fabulous for collage. But really, how much does one person need? So I'm bagging up the beautiful scraps. And they're just glorious. Have a look on my website. You'll find them. They're beautiful. They're one ofs. Each bag and collection is one of. Also, I have special edition inspiration packs. Beautiful original jelly prints. They're absolutely glorious. They won't get made again. You know? <laughs> I only do these crazy ideas once and you probably saw me make them anyway. Have a look in the website. Got some fabulous paintings on canvas and some on paper as well. The paper's a lot better for the shipping, but you know, you need some of those beautiful paintings because they need a new home. And if you sign up for my email newsletter, I'm going to be putting out specials and crazy sales items and also giveaways. It's only for November, so have a look in the link under the description and you'll find my email newsletter. You get a free print as well. I mean, it's a win-win. Have a look there because I'm going to be shooting out through my email only, absolute like crazy ideas and bargains to buy and also giveaways. So it's a whole lot of fun, really. Should we have a little look and see? I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay, ooh, it's stuck a bit on the plate. Maybe it's not quite ready. Maybe I should leave it. Do you think I should leave it? I'm not good at leaving things alone. Nah, we're, we're, we're taking her up, baby. Come on. Be brave. Why be scared now? We're taking her off. She did stick. Ooh, a fair bit. Let's just fix that bit there. You know, I could have used the wet strength kit tissue or I could have waited longer. I see, I should have told you more about the sale. <laughs> Don't forget, you want to join my email list. Seriously. I had a brilliant idea this morning. I'm like, I'm going to put it out there. Make me an offer, pay the shipping. I know, I'm telling you, there's going to be some bargains to be had. Oh, that looks beautiful, except that one little area where it actually caught on the plate. But look at the texture. Look at the colors. We can work with that. That'll be fine. Collage paper. Hello. And this is how things end up in my scrap bag. I'll use most of this for a beautiful collage, but there's always pieces left. And because I create so many, <laughs> I have a builder from the 100 days of collage from this year and from last year as well. I know it's time to have a clear out. That's all there is to it. 
that's beautiful i love it that print is fabulous it'd work in collage baby it'll be fine i want to have one more go with that the black piece of paper with the squares because i didn't really give it a good enough chance i'm just going to do one more print with this one and then i think hmm, let's put a little collage together just a little one <laughs> it won't take long right so i'm going with some van dyke brown on the plate i just want to try this square one again because i really didn't give it much of an opportunity to shine <laughs> like so i'm thinking and i just want to have another go i think it's it's a fabulous shape it did take a really nice print i did really like it but this time i'm not going to mess around with it i'm just going to put it on flatten it out and then see what it looks like what kind of impression it's making basically we're using the textured paper like impression plates really and it's so endless what we can do i mean you can use so many things for this really simple technique and it's jelly printing Every print is a little surprise. <laughs> Righto, gave it a good rub. We'll see what kind of impression it left on the plate this time. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yes, I'm liking that. And that looks better. See, left it on too long last time. It got sucked up. I was too excited painting in the little squares, but that was pretty fun. So, should we add some more layers or should we just pull the print? Mm, we could add some more of those really cool triangles. That was pretty fun. All right, but we'll have to let this dry first. Put some triangles on, then we'll pull the print and then we'll put a collage together. Just a little one. <laughs> right, so I couldn't decide if I wanted the muted violet or the gold. So we're going with both. <laughs> And that's just how it's gonna go. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> bit of muted violet and a bit of gold. Oh, I forgot the stencil. <laughs> oh man, I got it all ready too. I was too excited about the colour. Alright, well what if we put it on? Let's do it now then. Righto. Righto, righto. Oh man. I'm going to put it onto this one. Add another texture to the first print. Now I've got no idea actually how this is going to work because I just messed up my plan. I was too excited about the beautiful colours. <laughs> Righto, well, well, you get that. So this was the very first print that I did with the textured paper. Just going to put the triangles on it because <sighs> We've got to put them somewhere. I right know. Ooh, that actually looks really cool. Yes, it does. Oh, I take it back. I meant to do that all the way along. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. Actually, I think I like it up this way. Yes. I'm loving that. The color's amazing. I knew the color would work. I love that. Love that. I think I love that the best. Okay, that's fun. See? You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> so now I, oopsies, take this off. And we'll print that and see what we get. That we could put on another piece of paper as well. Let's put it on this paper. This one seems to be our roll off paper so we'll put that on there and then we'll pull this print and see what we get let's put it on the wet strength tissue well that was really funny you see you just got to keep trying your ideas and if you forget to do something or something doesn't work or you do it the wrong way well then you just push on baby and try something else <laughs> 
that's how you learn. Mileage under the brush, I keep telling my girls on Patreon, it's mileage under the brush. You just gotta keep making art. You have to create art to make great art. I'm telling you. <laughs> I could put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Don't tell Libby, she'll get one made. <laughs> yep, that's how it goes. You have to create art to make great art. It's just mileage under the brush, baby. Better get this stencil off this paper before it sticks. No, it's not too bad. It left a little bit of a pattern on there. See, look, that's built up to quite a nice pattern on this paper. Yeah, I could give that a spray now and that would finish that off. I think I might do that. And then we'll have another option for our collage that we're eventually getting to. No, no, let's see what happened to this because I've got no idea how it's going to turn out. <laughs> oh man, what a colossal stuff up. Oh, it's not too bad. The colour's beautiful. I knew the colour would work because it's beautiful muted violet and gold. What's not to love? Oh, you can see some of the fabulous squares too. That's not so bad. Well, no, let's have a look at what we got and what we're going to make. Okay, so here's my beautiful prints. What do you think about my fabulous experiments? This one caught a little on the plate, but not to worry. I'm really loving the texture of this. I like the color combination. That one really worked. This one looks beautiful with the violet and the gold. How could it not? I love this one with the squares. And this one was the paper I was using to push the paper down. And then I sprayed it with some icings. It looks fabulous. It's come up glorious. This one I just did a roll off as the last print because I didn't want to waste the paint. And the thing is, right, if I don't use it for collage, it goes into one of my packs. <laughs> I just love it. That's how come I end up with so much paper. <laughs> right, so I'm loving all of them actually. I've pulled out my art journal. I think it's nine by 11 inch. I like to use the Delusions art journal because they just handle my loving. And that's what I'm going to do, a little collage in the art journal because I love these prints and they're going to work really well together. I think this one is my favourite. This was my oopsies. I was trying, <laughs> I was going to do something else and then I forgot to put the stencil on. So I was too excited by the colours. I love it. It worked out way better than I expected. So I'm going to use that definitely, definitely, definitely. I might just stick the whole thing on the page and maybe I'll add some of the beautiful Kozo paper. Oh yeah, onto it. And that's it, baby. We're done because that's just glorious. It's a great print. The beautiful paper reminds me of how I made the prints and that's always fun. Maybe we'll just put a little, I want that edging fringing there so maybe we'll just put a little on the edge like that what do you think i like the way you can see the bronze this side this is the piece i was actually using for printing with so i'm going to use it i'm just going to cut that little bit and stick it on there and that's that baby right on the side there where i got the fringing hanging on the print like that i might even add a little bit more of that bronze to it because it looks pretty cool. Yes, I'm going to do that. I know, well that, see, I told you it wouldn't take long. <laughs> now, what about this one? I think this is probably my second favorite. So we might put it over here, but I might put some of this with it. You know, I could always go and have a look in my scrap bag if I need anything else, because there's so much in there. <laughs> maybe, maybe, or maybe I'll just get another piece of the Kozo paper. That could work too. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Think I'll stick the background down and then hmm, I'm going to add a little bit of Kozo paper to this one. I just can't decide if I want the black or the white or the painted piece. That might work too. Let's have a look at that. So this might work. It's the painted piece, but nah, I don't think so. It's taking away from these colors. We could use the similar paper this side in the white. I know, <laughs> too matching. <laughs> Can you get too matching? Or it could go that way and it could separate those two prints. Now that could work. 
yes or we could use a piece of this beautiful one with all the threads and this was the one that I used to take the print so you know either of those options are going to work and then if it's different to the other side I don't know man am I feeling like matching or something different I don't know I think I'll just stick the backgrounds down and then we'll decide okay let's do that these prints turned out so well I'm saying <laughs> For an experimental idea, I think we did okay. <laughs> now I've got this side stuck down. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love this print so much. I've just got to let it dry and trim the edges. And then that's how it looks. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, I do think so. I've got the background down here with these two prints. I could do some touch-ups on this one with the bronze if I want to. And I just might. Maybe baby but i've got to decide i'm thinking i want to go with this one because i like the way it's got the bigger squares in it you can see more of the print underneath so that's why i think i'll go with this one and how many do i want is the question and yes i definitely want the edge where you see the fringing i think that is just beautiful this paper is flipping amazing that's all i can say about it it's amazing it feels incredible what do we think i'm definitely going to go across that way but i think i might oops there's the edge of the paper there do we want it that way no we don't we want it that way okay but we've got to pull it in from the edge so you see the beautiful fringing so that means i've got to cut two rows off there and maybe one row down you see this is how i get scraps in my scrap bag <laughs> right we've got to cut two rows off and one row down into the scrap bag it goes and that's how i end up with so many little pieces but they're always good for the next project beautiful 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 right so that's going to go there like that now the question is Yes, I'm going to have to. I don't even want to ask you. I'm going to take one more row off. Because I want to see my beautiful prints underneath. But I want the texture as well. I know, I just want everything. <laughs> I do know that. Right. So, yes, more scraps for the scrap bag. And that's going to go on exactly like that. I'm going to glue that down, glue that down. That looks flipping beautiful so happy with it i absolutely love it i might do some touch-ups with the bronze because i'm just not going to be able to help myself but it's looking glorious i'll give you a close-up when it's dried but i am pretty happy with that for an experiment creating jelly prints with textured papers what's not to love looks fabulous i love it Thanks for joining me today. Wasn't that just so much fun? I absolutely loved it. The papers from Kozo's are second to none. They're just world class. So beautiful. Handmade in Thailand. You can't go wrong. Now, if you're going to have a look at the Kozo website, make sure you use the discount code because, you know, 10% matters and you just got to click on the link and you're right there. And have a look at my glorious paintings on sale. Big art sale. <laughs> only for november join me on the newsletter the email because i'm going to be doing some crazy giveaways and they're only going to be going through the newsletter so you'll find all the information in the description under the video all the links will be there make sure you get on and have a look there's so much more to explore <laughs> thanks for joining me today see you next time in the studio